Good morning or afternoon, depending on what time zone you happen to be in. It's Joe here at Larry's Pistol and Pawn on the Parkway. We're in the ammo dump range, as always, on Friday. Today I thought we would start talking about modern sporting rifles. Now that might be a term you're familiar with, but I bet you're familiar with what a modern sporting rifle is. This is a modern sporting rifle. Things are available in about any much money that you can afford to put in them. Okay, this one is about five hundred dollars. You can get them up to a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand. If you buy a Daniel Defense or something like that, ever how much money you want to part with, you can get them for that. This particular gun right here has a, a, a Neotech uh, sight on it, which is actually worth more than the gun is. So this is a modern sporting rifle. It may look like a military gun, but it's not. This is a modern sporting yeah. rifle. So. A little history as we go into this. When we first started creating modern rifles, you may be familiar with this one. This is a lever gun. You've seen this in many of the Western movies in the 1870s, 1880s, and so forth. This particular one happens to be chambered in 6.5. It's a modern version of an antique system, if you will. But you can use modern sporting rifles in about any caliber you want. This one right here is in 22. Very economic learn to shoot. Very fun well, gun to shoot right here in Trump. Of course, you can get these up in just about any caliber you want. 9mm, 556, even up to a 308. No problem. So what I thought to do, we did today is look at the uh, inside of it and to actually go back and see how we would clean and maintain one of our, our guns. So this is one of our, our guns here that we use in class and training. And I've already removed the oh, carrier group from this one and disassembled it for the sake of time. But let me show you how this works. First of all, there's a pin right here. You simply push this pin in, it comes out a little bit on this side, and you pull it out. Now, do not pull this pin all the way out. There's a retaining pin in here that holds this in place. If you pull it all the way out, you're going to have a mess because that little brass pin and that spring you will never find. Trust me on this, I know. When you open up then, you now have two parts of your gun, your upper receiver and your lower receiver. The upper receiver here can be disassembled with this one pin right here. I don't need to do that right now, but if you pop this one pin out, you can change the upper receiver. This particular one happens to be chambered in 5.56, but I could just as easily add a nine millimeter or a 2.23 or any other caliber upper receiver to this lower receiver. The lower receiver right here is the part that does the business then. So when I disassemble this gun by opening the receiver then, then I'll pull the charging handle back and I'll actually pull what we call the bolt carrier group out. Now I've already disassembled the bolt carrier group here, so I'm just gonna put this one back in right now and set it aside. And this is the actual disassembled bolt carrier group right here. Consists of the bolt carrier group, the extractor, the extractor retainer, a cotter pin, and the actual firing pin. So you disassemble all this and clean it up nice and good. And then when you go to dis reassemble it, you simply do this. Take your extractor, drop it in. You gotta line up your holes right there, okay? Take your firing pin, take your retaining pin, line that up. And it's easier to do on a good day. dark here, it's hard to see what I'm doing. Firing pin in, and put our cotter pin in. And there you have your bolt carrier group completely reassembled, ready to go back into your firearm, okay? And that's all there is to it. It's really a simple process, it's easy to do. Uh, a lot of people are, are timid and worried about these things. They want to buy an AR, but they go, how in the world am I going to ever maintain this thing? It's really quite simple to do. So that's where we are today. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of that video there on how to do that. Thanks to everybody for tuning in and saying they like the videos. We'll keep them up if you can keep liking them. Uh, thanks to also to my producer, director, cameraman, colleague, fellow Air Force retiree, and ammo guy extraordinaire, uh, Stan George. Come and shoot with us at Larry's where we're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 till 6, Saturday 9 till 4. First responders, 
EMS, EMT type people shoot free on Tuesday. Ladies shoot free on Wednesday. If you're retired from anything, you can shoot free on Thursday. And even on Friday and Saturday, it's only 10 bucks to come and shoot. Larry's got plenty of ammo. We got everything you need to come and shoot. We got plenty of firearms. Come and shoot with us at Larry's uh, Pistol and Pond, North Memorial Parkway.